This is my site two, the second place I found crystals at. Just a rock pile at the top of a hill. This particular one hasn't been mined yet. When I run into crystal, you'll see a white powder show up. Preferably, we won't do that. I'm trying to work my way around the top of a crystal here. So I'm trying to break the shale away from the crystal without damaging the crystal. The problem is the crystal's frequently the same color as the shale and very difficult to identify until you can get light onto it. So I'm scraping away the rock, looking for small crevices, rocks to uproot, and looking for the edge of the crystal. This one's turning out to be quite large. A couple feet long, way a foot wide. We're not sure how deep it goes. So as I find crystal fragments, I put them in the sack, take them home to be processed, where I clean them and examine them. Probably about 90% of what I take home has to come back out here as scrap.
finally starting to expose the crystal. Little by little, I'm removing the shale from around the crystal. And so we call it for this day. Come back and finish in the morning. The next day, it's quite windy and cool. The wind has cleared all the fine grain sand out of the hole, so the crystal is quite visible now. So these fragments are already broken up can tell because the brakes aren't fresh and they've had growth on them and all the color of the surrounding rock. Most of this is a conglomerate of the crystal and the surrounding shale that I may or may not be able to remove later. One bag. This is all calcite crystal I'm collecting right now. We're especially interested in the clear version of it. It varies to a white, opaque, to 
orange color. All opaque. And mixed in with the clear calcite, occasionally I will find the barrack crystal, which I'm what I'm really looking for. Shale doesn't cooperate. Usually it splits apart, but not always.